Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot 2018-21-9. Uh, I am taking a highway off-ramp to test the slowdown feature that was uh, touted in the release notes. And let's see what happens when I do this. So, 60 miles an hour, slowing down. Ooh, it just dropped the speed to 50. Okay, let's see what it does now. And that was 45. Ooh, look at that. And these are actual speed limit drops. 40, 35, holy crap. Oh, that's cool. These are actual, sorry, as I was saying, as I'm trying to keep up with this, these are actual speed limit drops, not just the car slowing down uh, because it sees a turn. Um, so this is something that I've actually, uh, I mentioned in the last autopilot video, that I wasn't sure what this feature was going to look like because, oh, this is so neat. I'm gonna slow down though so I can let this guy in. Um, because the feature that they appeared to have described in the release notes was something that I thought I had already seen before, and I had seen something like that. The, the thing that I had seen before, though, um, was an example of the car slowing down based on the curvature of the road, which is fine. It absolutely should do that. Um, so if I take a highway off-ramp, but the highway off-ramp has a curve, I would see the car um, slow down based on the the fact that there was a curve coming up and I knew it couldn't take that curve at that speed safely. Um, or the other thing that I would see is um, I would get a notification on the instrument cluster that would say something along the lines of um, like auto steer speed reduced to blank, which is basically the, the thing that you see when you are on a local road and the speed limit of the local road changes to a lower speed limit. Um, the car will automatically adjust down provided you're on a, a type of road where your speed would be capped. So what we saw there though was different from either of those two scenarios. The, oh, that's the next green. I'm touching it. There we go. Um, the, um, the car actually did not seem to, it didn't think that the posted speed limit had changed. It wasn't like reading necessarily, well, I mean, GPS data probably is a factor, but it wasn't reading the speed limit of the road as the influencing factor for why it slowed down. And it was not reading the curvature of the road as the influencing factor for why it slowed down. As soon as we got into the off-ramp, it just changed the maximum speed for the auto steer down to, and presumably for TAC, because TAC is what is uh, specifically mentioned in the release notes, it changed the maximum speed for the auto steer down to a lower speed as I was exiting the highway. And it kept doing it, like in little like five and 20, or five, 10 and 20 mile per hour increments, which was very interesting. So here I'm gonna take another exit again, because I wanna see it happen again, because that was really cool. This isn't even where I'm going, I just wanna see it happen. All right, so I'm gonna slow down. The speed limit's actually 65 through here. I'm not like speeding crazy. All right, let's see what happens. We are on the off ramp. We're going 60, roughly with the flow of traffic. It's getting okay, slowing down because there's a car ahead of me. All right, let's see. I'd like you to slow down. <laughs> Please slow down. I'm going to take over here if you don't slow down soon. Okay, I'm taking over. Okay, so maybe it doesn't necessarily happen on every single highway exit just yet because we were definitely going into that turn too fast but um, yeah in that first exit that was really cool that was a behavior that I'd never seen from the autopilot before so that's definitely something new but yeah I think this bears more testing and I need to try it out on a few more highway stops let me get over safely go back the opposite direction because it's actually closer to where I'm going. All right, so we're traveling on a highway with a speed limit of 65 miles per hour in spite of what it says on the instrument cluster. I'm approaching a highway exit. I'm in a dedicated exit lane for this particular highway exit. Let's see what the car does. This first part of the exit is a turn. I'm gonna drop it down to 55 just to, and, and I've seen the car actually, the autopilot do perfectly fine with uh, this particular. Okay, so it just dropped it to 50, which I did not do. And now 45, and now 40, and now 35. Oh, that's pretty sweet. 30, and 25. And it mentioned it would not bring it to a complete stop. So I think it's gonna cruise through here. Uh, yeah, so it would have cruised through there and then it would have proceeded to speed up, which obviously we don't want it to do. So now I'm gonna pull ahead of this guy. 
and this is not exactly an off-ramp. It's kind of a weird little thing. We've got like a frontage road here that um, circles around. I'm going to go a little faster because even though it's 35, it's pretty under the flow of traffic for this spot. And I'm going to see if autopilot successfully navigates this turn and if it slows down for it. It does not appear to be slowing down for it, so I'm going to go ahead and take over. I've got a car behind me, so... Proceed, but there is a continuous lane, so we're good to go. All right. Well, that was an interesting test. I mean, obviously a little bit of mixed results, um, but it encourages me to try this out in a few other types of um, off ramps and intersections because I'm very curious to see how it's going to behave. Um, I was really surprised that the one that was a loop it didn't pick up on. I figured that would be kind of a no brainer, but it definitely seems to be picking up on ones where it is a like it's a proper exit approaching a traffic light, um, which is interesting because that's uh, and it seems like the sort of thing that's you know starting to lean towards a full self driving type feature like the ability to recognize it's like hey I've left the highway I'm now approaching a traffic light and now I need to come to a complete stop and it's interesting especially because the release notes specifically mention it's like hey when you take the exit we will slow the car but the car will not come to a complete stop so it's like it's warning you hey it's gonna look like it's gonna stop but it's not actually going to stop unless there is actually a car in front of you it's got somebody to key off of there so be ready to take over because you're still gonna have to deal with the intersection but yeah it's pretty interesting test. Uh, I think that's enough for now, so thanks for watching.